Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. Welcome to yet another tutorial on Programming Knowledge. So in today's tutorial, what we are going to cover about graph theory. So let's get started with the graph theory. So here you can see that I have a graph. So uh, it has nodes and edges. So let's start with the representation of the graph uh, implementation. One is agency list. We are going to do agency list and another is agency matrix. We are going to implement both and see how we can implement them. So first, let's get start with the user input. Uh, first input would be v comma e number vertices and edges. For then for every edge, for every edge we have u to v direction. Okay. So for every edge we have u to v direction. And uh, in this case we also assume that is a. Uh, so we or and uh, let me uh, just I'm also mentioning this. Uh, this is an undirected graph. So I'll comment this also. Undirected, undirected graph. Right now we are working with undirected graph, and we have two types of rep representation: agency list and matrix. And then uh, for every uh, v comma e, for every edge we have u comma v. So first, how many? Uh, uh, let us count how many edges I have. Uh, what is I have? The one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Seven vertices I have, and how many edges I have? Let me count them also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine vertices. So let's we go with the representation. I have a connection with A to B. So A to B, I have a connection. Then A to C. Then A to F, I have a connection. So uh, then uh, for B, uh, now you can assume that since I have told you that it is an undirected graph, so the connection would be available from A to B, then B to A. Uh, so you can assume because uh, I have mentioned clearly that uh, clearly I mentioned that since it is undirected graph. So from this you can uh, you have to assume that if I have a connection from A to B, then I would have been a connection from B to A since this is an undirected graph. Okay. In the next, let's get uh, get get another. Then uh, I have already an edge with A to C is covered. Then uh, uh, you can see C to E, C to F, and C to D, and then we have D to G and G to F. Okay, uh, so let me count how much how much this should be equal to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are missing with one edge. So let me check which I'm missing with. Uh, I have C to A. Yeah, I have C to A, C to F, C to E, C to D. Then D to G is done. G to F is also done. I guess I am missing with this one. E to D. I'm missing with E to D. So. Uh, you can cover this with e to d, uh, or if you uh, if you want to keep it lexicographically, so either you uh, type is at d to d to e or e to d is the same thing because I have mentioned you that since this is an undirected graph, so you have to make sure because it is mentioned here that it uh, it is mentioned that uh, uh, like if it's d to e and it is an undirected graph, so you have to make a connection for e to d, so e to d is equal to d to e or e to d is same okay so this works for everyone like a to c is equal to c to a because it is an undirected graph i have clearly mentioned so let's start with the representation now so let's have a matrix uh, what we can do first we need to what we can do i'll tell you one thing uh, you can need to you need to take v comma e is equal to map int comma input input dot split and now what we are going to do then what we are going to do so this is uh, then we need to for i in range for i in range uh, edges i'm going to have u comma v uh, u comma v uh, this is uh, let's uh, we'll do str input dot split and uh, what are we going to do 
from collections import default dict and i'll declare graph as a default dictionary which where the key is would be the vertex that is going to be a character and the value would be a list a gency list we are going to so by default i mentioned this so here i would do graph of u dot graph of u dot append v we are going implementing a gency list first and graph of v dot append u uh, why would i am doing this because i've already told you this is undirected graph so the h a to c is equal to h c to a so then what we are going to do then uh, let us uh, do one thing uh, let us print this so for i in graph so for v in graph print v comma d graph of v yeah so yeah so we are done with the first representation i guess so let us take the input for the input i would remove this and i would copy this so uh, let me run this yes so on the left i would put the output graph of v dot append u unsh hashable list yes now this works perfectly fine so th that was an error due to map because it was a uh, 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 having a, it was taking a data structure uh, as a tuple and since tuples are immutable so immutable things are uh, never hashable so uh, in python so this was showing an error now you can see let's compare this rep representation with our graph so now you can see now with the representation with the graph you can see what we ha I have like uh, I have an a then a like, like with a I have a connection with I have a green color uh, like with uh, I'll have uh, with A you have a this connection with A you have a this connection and this so A C F for B you have a this connection B to A is fine C for C is D is there yes F is there yes E is there yes A is already there good uh, then for D let's come to D you have C E and G good for G you have D and F yes d and f perfectly fine for f you would be having uh, g yes g is there c is also there and a is also there okay and for e you have c and d so perfectly fine or uh, every uh, every uh, for every vertex we have a uh, for every vertex we have a list so this is a perfect representation of the graph uh, in agency list so uh, you can uh, how we are going to traverse this uh, for this you can have we can have two types of traversal one is a uh, uh, depth of search and breadth of search uh, we are going to cover that so thank you guys thank you for watching uh, so we'll also cover the uh, traversal in the next tutorial so thank you guys thank you so much